Let's go and hit on the cameras. As stated before, the 12 mini has a dual camera setup, 12 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, where the Google Pixel 5 has a dual camera setup as well, a 12.2 megapixel wide angle lens than a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now I'm not too sure if one camera is way better than the other one, you know they both have pretty much the same exact setup and I think I've already done a full camera comparison, I just have not uploaded it yet, so whenever I upload it and you know go through it then I'll go ahead and you know get my full opinions there. But I pretty much saw that the iPhone 12 mini did really good in the photos, and the Pixel 5 did really good in photos too, but I think it did better in the video quality, which is very surprising. On the back of this phone, you can do 4K at 60, but on the front, you can only do 1080p at 30, which is definitely one of my sadder aspects of this phone, and I wish it could do 4K on the front. It is what it is, but the 12 mini for sure, I think, has an overall better camera setup when it comes down to it. You have that dual camera setup, like I stated, you know, you have that, you, know, you have 4K at 60 on the back, but you also have 4K at 60 on the front, which is huge. That ultra wide sensor is awesome, which is the same thing the Pixel 5 has. You have portrait mode, just like the Pixel 5. You have night mode and stuff, just like the Pixel 5. So there's a lot of similarities here, and I don't think there's one that's necessarily the winner. I think the Pixel 5 did a really good job in the camera quality in terms of video, like I stated, but because the iPhone 12 mini has that 4K at 60 on the front, that really adds a lot more character to the phone, you know? I always say it, and it's the truth, and that's kind of what I was saying in this case too.